A little bit of a different feeling out here at One Buck Place today. Two key players, Mark Barron and Jonathan Casillas, both traded away just before the NFL's trade deadline. Casillas heads to the Patriots, while Barron heads to the Rams. Now, if you look back at both players, you could see that the writing was kind of on the wall. If you remember, during the preseason, in week three, both players were benched. Casillas actually sat out the entire game, didn't even make the trip to Buffalo due to disciplinary reasons, while Barron was benched for the first defensive series. But ultimately, I think in Barron's case, it came down to schematics. Head coach Levy Smith had said before, at the beginning of training camp, that he wanted to see more in the way of coverage. Praised him for his physicality, his ability to play in the box and be a thumper, even compared him to John Lynch. But he wanted more out of him in terms of ball skills. And that is something that his replacement, Major Wright, certainly brings to the table. Might not pack as hard of a hit as Barron has, but he has the ball skills. This secondary right now could certainly use that. Now, as far as Casillas goes, the emergence of Danny Lansana made him a bit more dispensable. Started three games before Lansana came in, who got two pick sixes in three games that he played in. So that allowed the Bucks to be able to part ways. Really a win-win situation for both the Patriots and the Bucks. Now, why did this suddenly happen if the writing was on the wall, say, months ago? Well, deadlines spur action, and in both cases, for both players, teams that they went to had to account for losses due to injury. So there was a need, and they were able to fill the void, and in the meantime, able to unload just a little bit of cap space. Now, as you notice, Vincent Jackson, Doug Martin, both those guys were rumored to be on the trade block. Both of them are still here. Personally, I don't think they would have been able to unload Jackson. I think his price tag would have been far too much. Few teams could afford it. I'd say the same thing about Deshaun Goldson. I also think that in Jackson's case, this group of receivers could certainly still use him and his experience. They definitely depend on his leadership. And as far as Doug Martin goes, Charles Sims hasn't been back very long. I don't know if that is a risk that the team would really be willing to take a position like that. So injury prone, they might want to keep a few guys on the roster just to be on the safe side. Reporting from One Buck Place with Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.